Our client, RPS, has an existing issue tracking system that we've built for them using jQuery and styled with Bootstrap. It's called RPS Project Tracker. They've recently requested a few updates to this application that will make it more user-friendly and add functionality. The new requirements specified a dashboard page that shows a summary of issues, as well as visualizations of the data in chart format, all with filtering capabilities. The existing backlog list of items is good, but now it needs to be presented in a grid with sorting, filtering, and paging capabilities. On the item detail page, the form could use a little work to be more user-friendly. The drop-down selections should be color-coded and show what's being selected more clearly. And the entire item details page should be a tabbed interface instead of just buttons. We've decided that Kendo UI for jQuery will fulfill all of RPS's new requirements and ended up using a few of the many available components and features to make this project a success. On the dashboard page, we've added a Kendo chart and a group of Kendo buttons for filtering the data. On the backlog page, we used the Kendo grid so we can fulfill the paging and sorting requirement. The item details page got a new tabbed interface with all form controls updated to Kendo, which gave us the ability to easily provide templated dropdowns. To bring that final polish to the application, we used Kendo's theme to enable a theme that matched our existing application for a seamless look. During the next few chapters, we'll go through the process of updating our plain RPS project tracker jQuery application to one that uses Kendo UI and fulfills all of RPS's new requirements. You might want to follow along as we progress through this course. And in order to do that, there are three projects that are available on my GitHub repository that you might want to download or clone locally. The first one on this list is RPS API. This is the backend. It's a Node and Express backend that's going to be running locally as we're developing our jQuery application. This backend will provide all the data, fake data, of course, but it's going to be generated and returned to your jQuery application as if it were a real application. I'll show you how to set this up and get going with it in the next lesson. But for now, go ahead and clone this repository or download it. The next project on the list is the RPS Tracker jQuery project. And this is the RPS Tracker application built using jQuery. Think of this as version 1. This version does not yet have any Kendo UI in it. So this is the starting point of our course. If you want to follow along with what we're doing exactly, you can download this as your starting point too. And finally, the third item on the list is RPS Tracker Kendo. This is the final state of our application, or the goal that we're trying to get to at the completion of this course. This version does have all the Kendo UI widgets and components already built into it, and you can look at it for reference if you run into any trouble. We'll periodically glance at it to see where we're headed. You can download all three of these and store them locally. Let's go ahead and set these up. In this lesson, we're going to get started with running our sample applications. The first project you're going to need to download is this RPS API application. This is a Node and Express server application that's going to be the back end. It's going to be the API that's going to serve all the requests for our front end jQuery application that we're going to be building. So it's going to be running in the background and providing the data, but you don't need to interact with it. Go ahead and clone or download this repository and put it in some local folder where you have your code. Once you have the files local, go ahead and navigate to it in your terminal or console application, and you want to install the npm packages by using the npm install command. The next step is just to run one of the included scripts, and to do that, you just issue the command npm run dev. And that's all you really need to do. This will kick up the application on port 8080 on localhost. You can always check the application by querying the endpoints using Postman. Postman is a free application you can download to query APIs. Here I'm going to use the URL HTTP localhost port 8080 and then the path API backlog, which is going to return to us all the backlog items from the RPS tracker. We're going to use the get method here and I'm going to click send. And down here in the results, you'll see all the items returned to us and all the data that we need to populate the front end. All the server code is already written and all the service code in the front end is already written for you as well, since we're not focusing on HTTP communication as part of this course. Let's head back to GitHub and the other application you're going to need is this RPS Tracker jQuery application. This is the jQuery application for our RPS Tracker. Think of it as version 1. You want to go ahead and clone or download this one as well. And I've already done that. I have it open right here. 
Once you've downloaded it and navigated to that folder in your terminal or console, you want to run npm install to install all the necessary npm packages that the application depends on. Now for the core of our course, we're going to be using a front end build process, which I'll get into in a little bit. In order to get that running, you can issue the command npm run start. This script will go ahead and build our front end application and start up a server. It'll also open up the URL for us on port 8081 of localhost. So you can start up this application and navigate around. You'll see how this application operates. This does not have Kendo UI in it at all. Now, speaking of Kendo UI, the third application that you can download at this URL, this one has the Kendo UI library implemented already, and you can use this as a reference point. So we can clone or download this one and then navigate to it at the terminal like I did here. You can run npm install to get all the packages installed and then run npm run start. This will kick off the build process and start a web server as well. But this time it'll be on port 8082. Here everything is implemented, including the chart, the drop down, the filtering, the backlog page with the Kendo grid. We have Kendo styling, Kendo buttons, Kendo drop down lists. And on the details page, we have the tab strip up here, as well as Kendo styling for all our inputs. I'll be switching back and forth between the finished application and the one we're currently working on. Just make sure you keep an eye on the port number. One is 8081 for the unfinished one, the one we're currently working on, and 8082 will be the finished application. To get ready for the next few chapters, go ahead and open up the RPS Tracker jQuery project and your editor. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code here. And let's continue in the next chapter.